This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning to you. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Michelle Chamberlain. And I'm Bill Bryant. Kentucky mornings start here on WKYT. Even these rainy, foggy ones. <laughs> yes, they do. But tomorrow's Friday, though. You got that right. Today is Thursday, April 28th. Good to have you along. Now at 6, boarded up and broken. Hear from a woman who was sleeping when a car crashed into her Lexington home. Also, a look at the damage to several businesses caused by a suspected drunk driver overnight in Lexington. And we're taking a detailed look at the governor's line item vetoes to the state budget. We have some sales out there this morning that's waking up a few of us without even our alarm going off. This is the natural way of waking up with these thunderstorms there in Garrett County, Lincoln, and Madison County, and a few more counties, too. We're going to go through your day with a few thunderstorms back in the forecast, but we get rid of it tomorrow. How long do we hold on to that? I'll have that coming up. Okay, look forward to that full forecast, and let's get to the news. It was a rude awakening for a Lexington woman, and we're not talking about the overnight storms. A car crashed into her home. Hard to imagine. It was almost 1 o'clock in the morning when that car suddenly slammed into the home on Weber Way. That's off Clays Mill Road out in South Lexington. WKYT's Caitlin Sentner is there live this morning with a reaction now from the homeowner. Caitlin? Good morning, Bill. Family was home early this morning when they say a car came crashing into their home. You can see here there's some pretty significant damage to the corner of that home. Now, luckily, no one was hurt early this morning when a car authorities say was driven by a couple of teenagers came crashing into the home on Weber Way just off Clays Mill Road near the Jesmond County line. Firefighters were on scene for a couple of hours trying to repair the damage done. It's thought heavy rain is what led to the car led to the car leaving the roadway, but those drivers, they ran. And today, police are still trying to figure out who they are. We talked to one of the family members who was shocked at the site. Well, I was in my bedroom and I heard a big crash. And I went in my kitchen and the refrigerator was in the middle of the floor. Authorities say the car driven early this morning wasn't stolen, but the owner of that car isn't answering. Live in Fayette County, Caitlin Setner, WKYT. All right, Caitlin, thank you. Glad everybody's okay. And new this morning, several Lexington businesses have been damaged by a suspected drunk driver. Police say the driver took out a utility pole, and that caused a power outage on Harrodsburg Road at Lane Allen. That was about 2.30 this morning. He also crashed into a small strip mall there at that intersection, damaging some businesses, three businesses with moderate damage. They'll have to clean up this morning. Police say the driver was cited for DUI and has been taken to the hospital for his injuries. New on WKYT. This morning, Nicholasville police are looking for two men behind a violent robbery at Dairy Queen. It happened just after 10 o'clock last night on Main Street. Police say one of the two masked men hit an employee in the head with a gun before stealing cash and two cell phones. A Pulaski County school crossing guard is fighting for his life this morning after being hit by a car. Well, it's, it's a shame. Uh, Sending out prayers to the, the family, you know. It's a, it's a shame. It's, it's a tragedy. It happened in the parking lot of Southwestern High School. Police say the crossing guard was flown to the University of Tennessee Hospital with critical injuries. Cell phone video shows the scene after he was hit. Students told us the man is also a school custodian. Well, a couple of weeks after the state legislature adjourned this morning, we're getting our first in-depth look at some controversial budget bills and some of what has gone on. Governor Matt Bevan took his time in going over that bill line by line, and he vetoed more than two dozen items. Took it out of there with a stroke of the pen, as he can do. WKYT's Mark Barber is, shows us what survived and what did not. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Bill. The bills that Governor Matt Bevan vetoed are gone for good because it is too late for lawmakers to override any of those vetoes. Bevan has vetoed parts of four bills and vetoed three others entirely. The governor reportedly vetoed more than 30 items from the state budget that the House and the Senate struggled to pass. One of the largest provisions cut from the budget was $40 million in funding that would have allowed more children in financial need to qualify for preschool. Bevan also vetoed more than $9 million that were budgeted for something called work-ready scholarships. House Democrats say that means high school students who would have been able to start two-year college degrees without paying tuition this year will no longer have that option. Bevan says he issued the vetoes to save the state money and to strike down bills that did not have public support. 
A number of preventative health measures were also vetoed by the governor, along with a new driver's license bill that would have complied with federal security standards. We'll have much more on that coming up at 6.30. From the live... All right, uh, Mark Barber there with that report. Thank you very much. Governor Bevan has also revamped the Kentucky Horse Racing Commission with 11 new members. They include Hall of Fame jockey Pat Day and the son of former Governor Burton Jones. Among former members who were removed before their terms expired was Tom Conway, the father of Jack Conway, who lost to Bevan in last year's gubernatorial election. Well, the spring meet at Keeneland ends tomorrow. It's been a good meet. There's another event for horse racing fans to be all excited about. Yeah, it's the Rolex three-day event, which starts today at the Kentucky Horse Park, and despite its name, it runs through Sunday. The U.S. equestrian eventing team will take, take on some of the best international competitors. Some of them hope to find their way to the Summer Olympics in Rio. Now, your zone-by-zone zone forecast with meteorologist Micah Harris. Some strong sales out there early this morning, and it's waking up a lot of us. I've been seeing uh, pictures and also updates there on Facebook and on Twitter from you guys. I appreciate that very much. Pam Wright it was in Perryville just uh, about 30, 45 minutes ago. She said it was extremely loud there in Perryville. Now it's moved off into Gary County, Madison County, Richmond. Looks like most of it's going to stay just south of you. And that's kind of an area where we're having some traffic troubles, too. We'll have that story uh, coming up in just a few moments. But uh, as of right now, you're talking about some pretty heavy rain there and also a lot of lightning. Good news, I want to show you this, is that the actual uh, system, is the actual cell is actually shrinking and also the lightning strikes are decreasing. What does that mean? Intensity is decreasing. So this isn't getting stronger, it's actually getting weaker. But if you're sitting in Berea, just north of Berea, in between Berea and also uh, Richmond, you're probably uh, laughing at me saying it's getting weaker because that is a strong sale right now. Another small but yet strong sale is moving out of Wolf County, heading down the Mountain Parkway and heading towards Sayersville. If that sticks together, that's a pretty heavy downpour too with a lot of lightning. One just north of Hazard heading toward Hyman and also Pippa Passes as you travel off toward eastern Kentucky. So there's a lot going on early this morning. It's very loud this morning, and uh, it looks like some of that's starting to fade away. There's some good news. Another thing to deal with, a little fog issue here and there. Not showing up on any of these cams, but, yeah, you're going to run in some pretty dense fog. Once we approach the afternoon, we'll actually be in the mid to upper 70s, kind of depending on where you are. I'd say afternoon it looks east of I-75. That's probably your best bet. And then once we hit the evening and night, it actually fades away. So there's some good news for us as we head out and about and travel throughout your, uh, your afternoon and evening. More storms in the forecast for your weekend. After a break there on Friday, Friday actually looks pretty good. Friday will be at the 75 degrees, mostly sunny skies, Bill. That is an awesome day to get out and knock out any plans. But then we head towards your weekend, and your weekend doesn't look that good. Saturday, Sunday, looks like more storms move on in. I was down in Madison County, which I'll show some video, some pictures uh, coming up in the next half hour, uh, down at Whitehall Elementary. But as I stopped off at gas station, people were saying, when can we get some outdoor <laughs> events going on this week? Well, it looks like tomorrow is going to be it. Some baseball games, some softball games. Uh, some of those rained out. Looks like uh, it should be tomorrow, even though yeah. the fields are still going to be pretty wet. Well, there, there you go. So when people need to... Uh, Sneak off a little tomorrow, right? Yes, <laughs> I agree. Yeah, sounds I like it. On One that. day to enjoy. Sounds mm -hmm. like at least as far as clear skies. Our time this morning is 6:08, and every morning right here we bring you weather and traffic together. And let's go out to Officer Don and check on what's happening on the roads. Good morning, Don. Well, good morning. Of course, the roads are wet this morning, and we're dealing with that on the way in. And we have that crash in Madison County. It's I-75 southbound at the 85-mile marker. Uh, this collision involves a semi and an ambulance. Uh, just uh, two lanes uh, blocked there with one lane open on I-75 southbound at the 85. As you get a look at overall traffic flow this morning, traffic's still pretty light around town. Our drive times right now, we have that to impact there southbound 75 in Madison County. But other than that, just a little slower because of the wet road conditions. Coming in from Nicholasville shouldn't be a major problem. 12 minutes right now from Georgetown is 16 and from Winchester 22. Of course, we'll keep you up to date throughout the morning. Now back to you. All right, Don, thank you very much. And unfortunately, we've had uh, several reports of slipping and sliding this morning of some uh, accidents. So everybody be very, very careful this morning and give yourself a little extra time in the uh, fog and the rain. Yes, do not rush to work. Leave there. a little bit earlier Good today, idea. right? Good idea. 6.09 on WKYT this morning. And there's so much more coming up here on your Thursday. Yeah,
Ted Cruz is doing all that he can to derail Donald Trump ahead of another critical primary. And questions over whether Snapchat is encouraging dangerous driving. Details on a new lawsuit against the popular messaging service. That and so much more on the way. Don't miss the final week of Keeneland Spring Meet, closing day Friday, April 29th. Don't miss the final week of Keeneland Spring Meet, closing day Friday, April 29th. Hurry to Fazoli's for a fan favorite baked spaghetti. For a limited time, this Fazoli's favorite is only $4.99. Spaghetti with marinara sauce topped with our special blend of cheeses and baked to perfection. And top it with Italian sausage or meatballs for just $1.50 more. For the best selection of reclining furniture, come to Furniture World Superstore. From sofas and love seats to leather sectionals, massage chairs, and more. Whether you want to recline, lift, or swivel, you'll find furniture that moves you. Plus, two years interest free at Furniture World Superstore. Some things are simply impossible to ignore. The strikingly designed Lexus NX Turbo and Hybrid, the SUV that dares to go beyond utility. Lease the 2016 NX 200 Turbo for $349 a month for 36 months. See your Lexus dealer. For the first time ever, the factory authorized spring savings event at Burke Furniture. Featuring handcrafted furniture from Hooker, Braddington Young, and Sam Moore. Now for a limited time, enjoy savings up to 60% off these high quality name brands. Hooker, Braddington Young, and Sam Moore represent the essence of quality furniture. And your place to find all this is at Burke Furniture. But you'd better hurry. This is a limited time offer. It's the factory authorized spring savings event exclusively at Burke Furniture. It's ancient Greece. You're a shepherd tending your flock and you're hungry. You reach into your loincloth and remove two euros you bought for six iron coins. As you take your first bite, you notice a disturbance in the flock. A lion has taken sweet Euclides. You continue to eat. A lion in your own right. Man. Sheep are hard to keep alive. Arby's, we have the meat. My dad always said God gave us two ears and one mouth for a reason, to listen twice as much as you talk if you want to get things done. I moved my office from the top floor to the first floor when I was elected mayor to hear people's ideas. I took their ideas and cut waste, turned a deficit into a surplus, and helped create thousands of jobs. I'm Jim Gray, and I approve this message. Because both parties have good ideas, it just takes someone to listen. Step right up for something fun. For just a buck, the excitement's begun. The game's called Kino, and you can play it in an alley. Or you can play it with your best friend, Sally. You can play it here or there. You could play it almost anywhere. Play with many numbers or just a few. How you play is all up to you. You can put down a little or put down a lot. So what do you say? Give Kino a shot. Just pick your numbers and hope you win. And a few minutes later, you can play it again. Now you can play Kino wherever Kentucky Lottery games are sold. Fueling imagination. Funding education. Thousands of combinations, hundreds of styles, endless choices. At Furniture World Superstore, you can get custom furniture from traditional to trendy fabrics or luxurious leather in two weeks. Your furniture, your way. Delivered in two weeks, plus two years interest-free at Furniture World Superstore. WKYT's First Alert Weather follows you wherever you go. On TV, online, on your phone, and throughout the day on Mix 94.5. Welcome back to WKYT this morning. We have a breaking news alert to tell you about. Part of I-75 in Madison County is closed because of a crash involving a semi and an ambulance. We've just established a live picture. We want to take you to the scene. The crash happened in the southbound lanes near exit 85. That is inside the Richmond city limits. Only one southbound lane is open right now. The semi has some front end damage. The ambulance has damage to both the front and the back. It is out of Harlan, apparently returning to that area. We're working to get more information as to exactly why it was in Richmond and the condition it everyone involved we have no word of injuries but again richmond has three exits there in the city limits and this is at mile marker 85 so that is south of the eastern bypass and north of dun cannon lane for those of you familiar with that area and of course many uh, travel in that area at this time of morning uh, to uh, go into uh, parts of southern kentucky in between richmond and berea so be very careful the rain is continuing in that area and that of course is making that uh, cleanup difficult
This morning, a former Republican presidential candidate is back on the campaign trail. With less than a week until the critical Indiana primary, Brooks of Abraga tells us how Ted Cruz is hoping to stop frontrunner Donald Trump from securing the GOP nomination. After suffering a five-state primary defeat, Ted Cruz is trying to change the conversation. And the next vice president of the United States, Carly Fiorina. Cruz's pick of former Republican rival Carly Fiorina as his running mate drew quick scorn from frontrunner Donald Trump. He is the first presidential candidate in the history of this country who's mathematically eliminated from becoming president who chose a vice presidential candidate. But Fiorina could help Cruz in her home state of California or next week's Indiana primary. The Texas senator needs to come from behind in one of those states to keep Trump from the nomination. Fiorina painted the potential ticket as a pair of establishment busting outsiders. I am reassured and I am proud of some of the enemies that Ted Cruz has made. She wasn't always so complimentary. In January, she told CNN State of the Union Cruz was part of the problem in Washington. Ted Cruz is just like any other politician. He says one thing in Manhattan, he says another thing in Iowa, he says whatever he needs to say to get elected, and then he's going to do as he pleases. Yesterday, she had a new message and a new target. The most inconsistent candidate in this race is one Donald J. Trump. Polls show Cruz trailing Trump by at least five points in Indiana and as much as 27 in California. Brooke Silva Braga for CBS News, New York. And Cruz and Fiorina will be holding three joint events in Indiana later today. Trump will be campaigning in California as well as Indiana. With billions of video views per day, Snapchat has quickly grown in popularity. But one of the app's filters has now landed the message an image serving scene company in some legal trouble. This image showing Crystal McGee bleeding from her forehead with the caption, Lucky to be alive, was posted to Snapchat moments after her car collided with an SUV. Now, attorneys for the crash victim are suing McGee and Snapchat, saying the 2015 incident would not have happened had it had not been for the app's speed filter, which records how fast a user is going and shares it with your friends. Now, attorneys say McGee was driving her father's Mercedes at 107 miles an hour when she crashed into another car, leaving the driver with permanent brain damage. Severe weather continuing to move east after battering parts of the Midwest and the South. Several short-lived tornadoes were reported in Nebraska, Iowa, and Illinois yesterday and into the evening. Louisiana was hit with heavy rain. The storm system is expected to shift back to parts of Texas and Oklahoma later today. Investigators are still trying to determine what led to the death of music icon Prince. Law enforcement sources are telling CBS News this morning that prescription painkillers were found in the singer's possession and in his home. The 57-year-old legend was found unresponsive in an elevator at his suburban Minneapolis estate one week ago. Your time is 618. The Department of Education has launched a new website to help people with student loans find a repayment option that best suits their needs. The Obama administration is trying to enroll an additional 2 million people into repayment programs such as the Pay As You Earn program. It caps monthly student loan payments at 10% of a person's income. Now the new website is studentloans.com slash repay. For everyone trying to get in shape this summer, gym memberships may not be the best financial bet. USA Today says the average gym membership costs $60 a month and 67% go unused. Instead, new apps and streaming workout videos can save people lots of time and money. Airline customers are getting some pretty good deals on airline tickets. The average price of domestic airfare dropped to $363 in the last three months of 2015. Travelers have not seen prices that low since 2010. Now, the price drop is largely due to cheaper oil and the need for big carriers to compete with low-cost carriers that are expanding into new cities. As with anything else, shop around, certainly, and uh, in Lexington, adding uh, some additional flights, of course, this summer, including the uh, new flight to the New York City area. WKYT this morning on the air with all the latest, and it's so good to have you with us. Early on this Thursday, SpaceX is aiming for Mars when the company thinks it can get people to the red planet. That's coming up after weather in about six minutes. I have some thunderstorms out there early this morning, and it looks like we're going to have a few more later on this afternoon, too. When do we catch a break? I'll have that in your forecast and also show you your weekend coming up. 
tonight, with only three big bangs left, you're invited to an evening of fine wine. I do enjoy an aged Pinot Noir. That would pair nicely with your fried nuggets of chicken. And toy trains. When I was five, I ingested a locomotive. I spent the next three days saying, I think I can pass it. I think I can pass it. <laughs> Then, want to impress your dad? The Mets locker room. Try hitting the big leagues. <laughs> They're right in the ball. A new odd couple right after a new Big Bang Theory, CBS Tonight. Satisfy the hero in you with the McCafe coffee starting at $1. With a heavy-duty welded steel deck and exclusive smooth track steering, the Hustler Raptor Zero Turn Mower doesn't play around. It's got the power to turn your weekend to-do list into your weekend to-done list. The legendary Hustler Raptor family starting at just $27.99. Tools, not toys. Get your Hustler Mower at Huss Equipment in Nicholasville and Valley Farm Equipment in Science Hill. Get ready for Kroger's Kentucky Derby Festival, April 28th through Derby Eve, and be a part of America's greatest community festival with nine full days of local and national act concerts, the infamous Chow Wagon, various festival events, and more. Admission is free with a 2016 Pegasus pen, $5 at your neighborhood Kroger, and $7 at events. Hurry into Kroger for center cut pork chops for just $1.99 a pound, and red tomatoes on the vine for only 99 cents a pound. Great food, low prices at Kroger. Recently, a 1954 Mercedes-Benz Grand Prix race car made history when it sold for a record price of just under $30 million. And now, another Mercedes-Benz makes history selling at just over $30,000. And to think this one actually has a surround sound stereo. The 2016 CLA. Lease the CLA 250 for 329 a month at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. Enjoy 0% financing for five years and free TVs with your qualifying purchase at Sleep Outfitters. Get this Sealy Pillow Top Queen set with gel foam on sale now for just $4.99 plus a free TV. Save hundreds on a special purchase of Tempur-Pedic adjustable bases while they last. 0% financing for five years, free TVs, store-wide savings, and save hundreds on Temper Ergo adjustable foundations. Only at Sleep Outfitters. People really do live life in their Toyotas. Live well in the bold Toyota Camry. Now with just announced $500 bonus cash. Use it to get zero for 60 plus $500. Get $2,000 cash back. Or lease Camry for $179 a month with $16.99 due at signing. Don't miss out. Now through May 2nd. Toyota, let's go places. How Southerners say good morning. Get a freshly prepared breakfast from McDonald's Kitchens. Say good morning to a delicious sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddles at McDonald's. A crash between a semi and an ambulance has part of I-75 in Madison County closed. Staying right on top of the story for you this morning, and that's what's trending at this hour. This crash is in Madison County. It's on the south side of Richmond at exit 85. Only one southbound lane is open right now, so you have very slow traffic and a delay, as you can see right there. The ambulance involved is out of Harlan County. Again, we have no word of the injuries at this point. We are making calls and have a crew at the scene right now asking questions, but Again, a delay. If you're on the interstate this morning on the south side of Richmond, traveling southbound this morning, of course, uh, probably some uh, rubbernecking in the northbound lane as well. But everybody just move on by that as they're working in uh, difficult conditions with the rain this morning. In other news, no one was hurt when a car crashed into a Lexington home on Weber Way off Plaisnell Road this morning. Police are still looking for the juveniles who they think were on a joyride when they crashed. Rain and fog and some rumbles of thunder here and there. A quick check of the forecast now with meteorologist Micah Hara. Yeah, that system, that, that cell started to fade away, and now it's increasing out ahead of it there in portions of, say, Campton and also Stanton, that, that, that area, and portions of Powell and Wolf County. So uh, right over Irvin at the moment. Irvin, you don't need me to tell you that you have 
a thunderstorm right over you. But this is heading eastbound. Stanton it should stay to the south of you, the majority of it. And Campton, you're going to be next in line. You got missed by one earlier. Here comes one that should roll right through you. And this is going to be very heavy rain. Also, a lot of lightning. No severe weather at this time. Beattyville, Boonville, uh, seeing a cell right in between you guys as you travel up toward the Mountain Parkway. And we'll have storms around during the morning hours. By the afternoon, I would say noontime, just a couple of rumbles. Remember, today is not as good of a chance as the past couple of days. I'd say it's about 40% later on today with a few storms in the forecast. 78 degrees. It doesn't feel all that bad. It's just about that those storms that's moving on in. East of I-75 by far has the best shot at seeing a couple of strong cells later on today. The rain continues to pour down, not only today, tomorrow we take a break, but the weekend, here comes more rain in the forecast. I'll show you about that break on Friday, what your temperatures look like, and then your weekend, how soggy it really is. That's coming up. All right, thank you. 625 on WKYT this morning. Would you go to Mars? I would. Come would you? on. Why not? Wouldn't you? You first. Okay. I'll let you know how it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, SpaceX's first mission to Mars could be less than two years away. It's unbelievable. Yeah. The space exploration company, headed by Tesla CEO Elon Musk, tweeted that it plans to put an unmanned spacecraft on Mars as soon as 2018. Musk says he wants to send the first humans to Mars sometime around 2025. NASA says it's fully behind the company's plans for Mars. SpaceX's ultimate goal is to put a colony of people on the red planet, headed up by Bill Bryant. You're right. <laughs> seems we seem to be getting closer and closer, yeah, though, you know? Sure yeah, yeah. Prepare to be blown away. Russia's deputy prime minister released amazing video of a woman testing out an explosion proof suit. Have to see it here. Look. She makes <gasps> her way oh yeah, my yeah, makes her way through a series of fiery explosions in an active minefield, and she does so with a bit of swagger. Look at her, Look at her just walking along there. Her suit goes from white to black, charred from all the flames. Then she takes off her mask, tosses her long blonde hair in slow motion, sort of Farrah Fawcett style, as you can see there. <laughs> and, uh, wow, it's what like, a brave you know, woman. Really, like nothing ever happened, sort of thing. Now, that's the question would you do this, that's Bill Bryant? No, I can answer that one easily. <laughs> <laughs> Not. <laughs> I think Micah would do it. I could uh, see him. I don't know. You know no, I think he'd run. Blowing uh, his hands through his hair after he gets out of his suit. <laughs> Six, Pretty entertaining. 627 is the time bright and early on WKYT. We have a lot of news going on locally, and we're coming right back with that. The WKYT this morning returns. A Southern Kentucky business was destroyed by fire. Coming up, hear from a man who rushed to help. All of our top stories are on the way. Friday night's Mega Millions jackpot, $118 million. And Saturday night's Powerball jackpot is $314 million. Keep it here on WKYT. Don't miss the final week of Keeneland Spring Meat, closing day Friday, April 29th. From simple to exquisite, Sue Casa has just the right granite for every style and purpose. Home with a 1999 granite kitchen and Lexington's largest selection of stone under one roof. Let Sue Casa bring your dream home. Now at Toyota on Nicholasville. Get up to 5200 off new Toyotas. I'll say that again. Say 5200 off at Toyota. The big Toyota store. Where price sells cars. Good morning, Jennifer. Hi, Ashley. It's great to see you. We love Ashley. She's one of our regulars. Fresh from the oven. <laughs> At Kroger, we're family. And so are our customers. My mom always said, to have a friend, be a friend. Come back soon, Ashley. You know we will. The Buy 4, Save 4 sale is on now. Mix and match great items like Pepsi, Doritos, Bounty Paper Towels, and more. Great food, low prices at Kroger. It looks perfect. Howdy, partner. I'm going to be a fireman when I grow up. Life has a way of changing your plans. And when that happens, you can use the Close 5 app to sell unwanted stuff and find great bargains right in your neighborhood. So, what do you think? Awesome. Get the Close 5 app for iPhone or Android now. Download for free, buy and sell for free. We invited you here today to get your honest opinion about this new car. To keep things unbiased, we removed all the badging and logos. So what do you think it is? Reminds me a little bit of like an Audi. I would say Lexus. Maybe Acura. What if I told you this is the 2016 Chevy Malibu? Wow. This is a Malibu? 
Qualified buyers get 0% financing for 60 months on this Chevy Malibu. Or find your tag and get $2,000 total cash allowance. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. Thank you for this, Ariel. The crayons made a big difference. It may not seem like much to you. But it means the world to us. Kroger stores are increasing local community rewards donations to $3.6 million. And you can help decide where that money goes. Sign up at Kroger.com slash community rewards and link your plus card to the local group that matters most to you. When we all join together, there's nothing we can't do. Great food, low prices at Kroger. On the train test range, you learn what makes our heating and cooling systems so reliable. If there's a breaking point, we'll find it. It's hard to stop a train. Really hard. Discover an incredible deal with Train's Early Bird Sale now through May 30th. Buy a qualifying system and pay no interest until January 2021 or choose a trade-in allowance of up to $1,000. Visit findatrain.com now for details. Like now at Toyota on Nicholasville. Get up to 5200 off new Toyotas. I'll say that again. Say 5200 off at Toyota Nicholasville. The big Toyota store. Where price sells cars. WKYT's First Alert Weather follows you wherever you go. On TV, online, on your phone, and throughout the day on Wild 103.9. This is WKYT This Morning. Kentucky Morning Start here on WKYT. Good morning to you. I'm Bill Bryan. And I'm Michelle Chamberlain in for Rebecca Smith. It's Thursday, April 28th. And we have a lot going on. The time now 631. An ambulance has crashed on I-75 in Madison County this morning. We're live in Richmond on the scene with the breaking details. A rude awakening for a Lexington woman when a car crashed into her home. Some thunderstorms out there early this morning, an early morning wake up call, probably right before that alarm, right? That's how it always works. We're zooming in. You can see it heading toward the Mountain Parkway. That's a strong cell right there heading toward Canton here in just the next 15 to 30 minutes. We're going to go over these storms, talk about what you can expect this afternoon when you get a break. And here comes some more storms for the weekend. That's coming up. Okay, see you then. WKYT keeping a very close eye on a breaking news alert for you this morning. Police are investigating an accident right now. It involves a semi and an ambulance, and it is out on the interstate. Yeah, that crash happened in the southbound lanes near the eastern bypass exit in Richmond. Only one southbound lane is open right now. We're not sure how the crash happened, but we know both the semi and the ambulance involved have significant damage. Police have not said much at this point about what happened. Happened. We're working to get more information for you. We tell you that this accident is south of the uh, the bypass, but of course traffic is backing up, so it uh, is going to be impactful there uh, in Richmond for the next little bit. It was a rude awakening for a Lexington woman, and we're not talking about those overnight storms. A lot of us heard that. In this case, a car crashed right into her house. It was almost one o'clock in the morning when the car slammed into the home on Weber Way off of Clay's Mill Road. WKYT's Caitlin Sintner is there live with reaction from the homeowner, Caitlin. Good morning, Michelle. It was certainly not the night of sleep the family had expected. They say they heard a loud noise before they noticed this had happened to their home. Came flying through the through the yard. The hit, I guess, they hit the house and then hit the, the fence and then hit my car. Monte Lafrena, who lives in the home, frightened when she was in her bedroom early this morning and heard a loud noise. When she ran into the kitchen, she says she saw her refrigerator in the middle of the floor. She still doesn't know who caused the large hole in her kitchen. Authorities were at the home on Weber Way, just off Clay's Mill near the Jessamine County line, for a couple of hours after they say two teens left the road and crashed. But the suspects they believe are boys aren't anywhere to be found. Police say they ran. They say the car driven wasn't stolen, but the owner isn't answering. Now, as far as the family living in the home, they are all okay and are able to live in the home. In Fayette County, Caitlin Setner, WKYT. Well, a frightening situation. Glad everybody's okay at that scene. Caitlin, thank you. New on WKYT this morning, Nicholasville police are looking for two men behind a violent robbery at the Dairy Queen. That happened just after 10 last night on Main Street. Police say one of the two masked men hit an employee in the head with a gun before stealing cash and two cell phones. 
The state Supreme Court has heard arguments in the case of a Kentucky judge executive accused of election fraud. Attorneys for McGoffin County Judge Executive Charles Doc Harden argued that there's no proof that he bought votes in the 2014 election. His challenger that year, John Montgomery, made the fraud claims in a lawsuit. It could be months before the court makes a ruling. An Eastern Kentucky attorney accused in a massive disability benefit scheme wants his trial to be delayed. Eric Kahn is scheduled to go on trial in federal court in June, but his attorneys, along with attorneys for his two co-defendants, ask for delay. Prosecutors say they don't oppose the motion because the case is complex. A judge has not ruled on the motion. Kahn, Judge David Daughtry, and Dr. Alfred Atkins are accused of working together to get $600 million dollars out of the government. Time this morning, 6.35 on WKYT as you hop to it on your Thursday. A couple of weeks after the state legislature adjourned this morning, we're getting our first in-depth look at the controversial budget bill. Governor Matt Bevin took his time going over it line by line, and he took out his pen and has vetoed more than two dozen items. WKYT's Mark Barber shows us what survived and what did not. He's at our live desk. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Bill. Governor Matt Bevin reportedly vetoed more than 30 items from the state budget. The impact from the executive action will be felt the most by students. Bevin cut funding that would have allowed more children in poverty to qualify for preschool, and high school graduates will no longer have free community college tuition this year. Aside from the budget, Bevin used his veto pen on six other bills. According to the Courier Journal, Bevin vetoed funding for a number of preventative health measures, including cancer screenings and cancer research. Bevin also vetoed a bill that would have required the state to update driver's licenses to meet federal security standards. Bevin initially supported the new driver's licenses, but he says he changed his mind when he saw that the bill was drawing tremendous opposition. Now the governor's vetoes are drawing a large amount of criticism. After Bevin vetoed parts of the budget, the House Speaker called this a sad and unfortunate day for all of Kentucky, saying no forward-thinking governor would have acted this way. Bevin, in turn, says he issued these vetoes because the state has to cut back on its spending. From the Live Desk, Mark Barber, WKYT. All right, Mark, thank you. There'll be a lot of talk about that today in Frankfurt and around the Commonwealth. And former Governor Steve Bashir is attacking Governor Bevin, who has accused him of wrongdoing during his time in office. Governor Bevin has hired a private law firm to investigate the eight-year Bashir administration. Yesterday, a fired-up Bashir tried to turn the tables on the governor, claiming Bevin is the one who bullied some Democratic lawmakers into switching parties. He said that it is also... Uh, other things going on, including unethically raising money to cover campaign debt. Matt Bevin does, doesn't give me any choice because he started this food fight that he enjoys instead of governing. Bashir also released his income tax returns from his final year in office, and he criticized Governor Bevin for not releasing his. Governor Bevin is currently out of the country on an economic development trip, but in a statement, he said Bashir is just trying to protect what is left of his legacy and called all of his statements baseless accusations. A large fire has destroyed a well-known business in Powell County. It happened yesterday at an historic building on Main Street in Stanton. Firefighters say the building was home to just the plain fancy boutique along with two apartments. Four people were inside the building when it went up in flames. No one was hurt. The man who discovered the fire says his initial reaction was to bang on all the doors to alert anyone inside. I'm trying to just make sure everybody got out because the smoke was pouring out pretty heavy. Firefighters think the fire was caused by an electrical malfunction. Police in Harlan County arrested two grandparents who they say gave their five-year-old grandson a sleep aid. Loyal police say the child had a bottle of melatonin when he showed up at a nearby home. The people there took him to the police. Police say the boy told them Granny gave him a pill to help him sleep. Fred and Shelly Jones are charged with endangering the welfare of a minor. A fraternity at the University of Kentucky has been suspended for five years for hazing. A complaint filed against Phi Kappa Psi claims the fraternity forced students to drink alcohol and claims students suffered sleep deprivation and humiliation. The university says members of the fraternity have to clear out of that frat house in the next few weeks. UK would not comment on any punishment for specific students. Investigators are trying to find those responsible for vandalizing two parks in Williamsburg. Police say the vandals left some obscene graffiti around Briar Creek Park and set some small fires there. 
And they say the vandals also tried to start a fire at Bill Woods Park in the middle of downtown and then damaged a part of a fountain there. The Williamsburg mayor thinks repairing all of the damage will be expensive. So just as you know, as you head out the door this morning, it is wet and slick. And we'll get a check right now at traffic to see how that's moving along this and morning. And fog, an issue as well out there, reducing visibility. Here's Officer Don. Good morning, Don. Good morning. And of heavy rain, just had a report that in Madison County, for instance, it's very heavy in parts of Madison County, which is slowing things down on the interstate. Now, we do have some better news on I-75 South. Apparently, we have lanes back open at the 85-mile marker in Madison County. It's still slow there for a couple of miles, trying to recover from that collision involving the semi and the ambulance that happened earlier. But southbound 75 is moving again. Let's get a look outside, and we'll show you what else to expect with an overall look at traffic flow this morning in uh, real time. As you can see, inbound Nicholasville Road, Get there while you can. A little slowdown approaching the circle. Also, we're seeing slowdowns on Winchester Road near Midland and Richmond Road at the circle as well. Drive times this morning. Now, if you're coming in from Madison County toward Lexington, just mainly the ray, uh, roads, wet roads that you have to deal with at about 32 minutes. From Paris, it's 18, and from Frankfurt, 27. Just be careful out there this morning. Now, back to you in the studio. Yeah, very well said, and that is going to be the case this morning. We've seen with these accidents uh, that are happening here and there this morning that it is a little tough, a little tricky it this morning. It is tough, and you have to head out. A little bit earlier because yeah, I know yeah. that'll keep you from rushing. WKYT this morning on the air with the latest on your Thursday. So much more news on the way. What started off as a day of fun quickly turned into a scary situation. We'll show you why some beachgoers ended up scrambling for cover ahead. We still have storms out and about to talk about this morning. You know what? It's going to be scattered later on this afternoon, too. We do get a break very soon. I'm going to show you that break and how it feels and also. Your weekend forecast looks a little soggy. That's all coming up next. And Lexington is coming to life under that cloud cover this morning on this late April spring morning. We're coming back on WKYT. Don't miss the final week of Keeneland Spring Meet, closing day Friday, April 29th. For the best selection of reclining furniture, come to Furniture World Superstore. From sofas and love seats to leather sectionals, massage chairs, and more. Whether you want to recline, lift, or swivel, you'll find furniture that moves you. Plus, two years interest free at Furniture World Superstore. Nissan's family of crossovers with intuitive all-wheel drive. See driving in a more confident light. For a limited time, lease road just $189 per month or get 0% financing for up to 36 months. Take on Mother Nature. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Here's to good times. To fast times. To the moments when time seems to stop. To the tailgaters and the railbirds the long shots and the big wins. Here's to friends, new and old, and to the 16 spring days when it all comes together for one world-class event. The Keeneland Spring Meet, April 8th through the 29th. At Frankfurt Toyota, we have new 2016 Camrys, up to 3,900 off MSRP or 0% financing for 60 months. New 2016 Corollas and RAV4s, up to $2,200 off MSRP or 0% financing for 60 months. And we'll double your no-cost maintenance to four years or 50,000 miles. Frankfurt Toyota, Google rated 4.9 out of 5 stars. Frankfurt Toyota and online at frankfurttoyota.com. Thousands of combinations, hundreds of styles, endless choices. At Furniture World Superstore, you can get custom furniture from traditional to trendy fabrics or luxurious leather in two weeks. Your furniture, your way. Delivered in two weeks, plus two years interest free at Furniture World Superstore. Don't miss the final week of Keeneland Spring Meet, closing day Friday, April 29th. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with meteorologist Micah Harris. 
Look at on Defender this morning. We already are seeing some thunderstorms outside. Now, look, it was a big time thunderstorm over Boyle County, Lincoln, Marion, and then make your way into Lancaster uh, just about, I would say, about an hour ago. And that has since faded away just a bit. And I know you guys sitting maybe there in Irvine and also Beattyville, Campton, uh, work your way back toward Mount Vernon, southern portions of Madison County, maybe even McKee and Sand Gap in the Big Hill region saying, this hasn't faded away. This is really heavy rain, a lot of lightning. But let me tell you, it was way worse in Boyle County just an hour ago. So it, there's good news to it. It's trying to fade away. There's just a lot of energy still left out and about. You go off toward Campton and Wolf County, now getting some of those heavy downpours. Mountain Parkway is going to be pretty soaked this morning as you're traveling. Also, 460 as you travel through Menifee County up towards, say, Montgomery County. Uh, McGoffin County, you're, you're next in line with some more thunderstorms rolling through. Hindman down Pippa Passes. Uh, Alice Lloyd College is going to be a little soaked this morning uh, down toward Knott County. So just keep that in mind as you are heading out and about. Look, we get into 7, 8 a.m. Most of that's starting to fade away, right? Then we hit noontime, and most of us are pretty dry at noontime. I'm not seeing much of an issue there. Mid 70s actually feels pretty good. But then look toward the afternoon. Here comes sparking up. A few more rumbles of thunder, and I would say east of I 75 is your best bet today. But still, it's 40% as opposed to 60 and 70% like we've had the past couple of days. But remember, if you're trying to head out to Keeneland, you might be able to get out there. Maybe later on in the day, the third, fourth race is probably a good idea. Uh, trying to head out to the Rolex three day event next couple of days. Friday is going to be your day. Check this out. All right, we get into 8 a.m. on Friday. Looks great. By the afternoon, mid 70s, mostly sunny skies. Beautiful weather for that. Unfortunately, this weekend, we bring in some more wet weather. It's unfortunate. I want to talk about my school talk yesterday. This is Whitehall Elementary. That's down in Madison County. Such, such a good group. There were about 120 kids yesterday. And we had an absolute blast. The teachers were fun. The kids were fun. Such a good time with them. I'm going to let it continue to go through because there are a lot of kids to show off, man. They were excited about this. Very excited. We talked about weather. We talked about cars. We talked about my wife a lot. <laughs> it was really funny. I mean, the, there were, the questions were, were, how is she? And I said, you know, she's doing great. Thanks for asking. <laughs> they wanted to know her age. They wanted to know uh, my son's age. I mean, they, we had such a good time. And I always uh, say, if you can answer one, one of these questions, rarely anybody gets this question right. It was the number one leading cause of deaths in severe weather, and it's heat. And my man Matthew there got that, that question right. And his teacher there beside him, I believe his name was Matthew. I hope so. But yeah. anyway, you saw the picture of him. Uh, a fantastic time, fantastic kids, great school. We love it, it is a great school. You know, in Whitehall was uh, hit by the 1974 tornado. That school oh, actually yeah. had significant damage there. It's uh, a big uh, outbreak so, that year. Yeah, so that's a little part of history that, uh, that they're, <laughs> there you, you know, a part of there. All right, uh, good trip down there for you. Thank you, Micah, and uh, nice weather for tomorrow. But Thank you know, you. it's always good weather out in Hawaii, oh, right? Unless yes. Something strange happens, but a, a dream day in Hawaii, Hawaii turned into a nightmare for some beachgoers. Want to take a look at this? The so-called dust devil. It sent beachgoers running. The small tornado-like <laughs> winds picked up a few umbrellas, sending them flying through the air, as you can see. Now, despite the chaos, no injuries were reported, but the whipping winds didn't seem to bother some people at all. They just sat there as their umbrellas and dust swirled around <laughs> them. Can't say I wouldn't do the same if I was on a trip to Hawaii. <laughs> You know what? Uh, Just enjoy the interesting weather, right? Well, it's something to see as long as uh, nobody was hurt by it all. So it, it's a, guess an interesting As long interesting as I day. don't fly away, I can just sit there, right? <laughs> Always tell some stories about it, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Makes for good video. Good to have you along on WKYT this morning. It is your Thursday. Friday's next. That's right. 648 is our time right now. More news when we come back. Coming up, we're discussing Donald Trump's foreign policy speech and Ted Cruz naming Carly Fiorina as his running mate. Plus, is Snapchat encouraging users to drive faster? A lawsuit that could test the limits of social media. More real news coming up on CBS This Morning, next. Don't be chicken. Come into Captain D's for our Southern Style Whitefish, topped with a special blend of seasonings for our Nashville hot fish. Also try our catfish feast or grilled tilapia and shrimp skewer meal. For full meals starting at $4.99, it's got to be D's. Hey, good morning, Jennifer. Hi, Ashley. It's great to see you. We love Ashley. She's one of our regulars. 
fresh from the oven. <laughs> At Kroger, we're family. And so are our customers. My mom always said, to have a friend, be a friend. Come back soon, Ashley. You know we will. The Buy 4, Save 4 sale is on now. Mix and match great items like Pepsi, Doritos, Bounty Paper Towels, and more. Great food, low prices at Kroger. We're pleased to announce that we now have Honda in Richmond, which means you can shop and compare the four leading brands all in one location. So where else can you shop and compare the four best brands, be only minutes from Fayette County, work with one salesperson, and only have to have your car appraised once? For your convenience, out of respect for your time, we now offer Gates Honda, Gates Hyundai, Gates Nissan, and Toyota South, all on the bypass in Richmond. <coughs> Nicole, you got a cough this winter? May I suggest? Tough love. Mentholiptosols with big time cooling flavor. Or soft love. Milder flavored honey halls with real honey. Tough love. Soft love. Get the love you love. Bluegrass Medical Aesthetics wants to help you on the path to wellness and healthy youthful aging. Hormone replacement, medically supervised weight loss, Botox, Kybella, and more. Located in Georgetown next to Qdoba. Visit us at bmaky.com. I love Kentucky because it's my home. It's where I was born and raised, and it's me. The people of Kentucky are proud to be Kentuckians, proud of the heritage, proud of the tradition, and I, I share that pride. Whether they're single moms, elderly couples, working families, those are the kind of people that we help. At the end of the day, helping Kentucky is what it's all about. If someone needs help or one of their loved ones needs help, all they have to do is give us a call. Hair Win. Lawyers helping people. 859-780-3333. Don't be chicken. Come into Captain D's for our Southern Style Whitefish, topped with a special blend of seasonings for our Nashville Hotfish. Also try our Catfish Feast or Grilled Tilapia and Shrimp Skewer Meal. For full meals starting at $4.99, it's got to be D's. Time is 6.51 on WKYT this morning, and they are getting ready to go at the CBS Broadcast Center in New York for CBS This Morning. Yeah, comedians Key and Peele are in the studio, 57, to debut a new CBS This Morning series. Of course, the latest from the campaign trail and uh, on the uh, discovery that there were prescription drugs in Prince's uh, home and in his possession at the time of his death. An update now on a breaking news alert we've been tracking for you throughout the morning on WKYT. I-75 southbound is back open now in Madison County. Part of the interstate was closed for the past hour because of a crash involving an ambulance and a semi-truck. That crash along I-75 was just south of the eastern bypass exit. We know the ambulance was out of Harlan, but at this point, we don't know if anyone in the ambulance or the semi was hurt. We tried to get information from police at the scene, but they would not release any details. Governor Matt Bevin has vetoed all or parts of the seven bills that were passed on the very last day of the legislative session. Bevin's vetoes mean that Kentucky will not have a new driver's license that complies with federal security standards. His vetoes also mean some Kentucky high school graduates will have to wait until 2017 for free community college tuition. House Speaker Greg Stumbo reacted to that veto by saying, quote, no forward-thinking governor would have acted in this way. The governor also vetoed an item in the state budget that would make more children eligible for public preschool programs. New this morning, several Lexington businesses were damaged by a suspected drunk driver. Police say the driver took out a utility pole, causing a power outage at Harrisburg Road at Lane Allen around 2.30 this morning. He also crashed into a small strip mall at that intersection. Three businesses have some moderate damage. Police say the driver was cited for DUI and was taken to the hospital for his injuries. And Nicholasville police are looking for two men behind a violent robbery at Dairy Queen. It happened just after 10 last night on Main Street. Police say one of the two masked men hit an employee in the head with a gun before stealing cash and two cell phones. Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam has signed a bill that allows mental health counselors to refuse treating patients based on religious beliefs. Supporters say the bill protects the rights of therapists, but the American Counseling Association calls it an unprecedented attack on the counseling profession. Opponents also say it is part of a wave of bills around the country legalizing discrimination against gays. Mickey D's has taken some of the mystery out of McNuggets. Chicken McNuggets have a list of ingredients that reads like a chemistry test, but now McDonald's says it is testing a version without artificial preservatives. The fast food giant says the new McNugget recipe is simpler, but the company isn't dealing the new formulation just yet. McNuggets are often a culinary punchline for overprocessed food.
Interesting, huh? It is, and our time this morning is 6.54. Wherever you go today, we're right there with you. The latest on WKYT.com. We're adding video and info of the car that ran into the house in South Lexington overnight. Police still trying to figure out why it happened on a dark and rainy night out there. We have talked about the vetoes that Governor Bevin issued and how the legislature has no chance to override them because they've adjourned already. The Constitution requires a governor to explain his vetoes, and on our website, you can can see the actual veto messages from Bevan. You can also read the latest on the feud between Governor Bevan and former Governor Steve Bashir. Yesterday, Bashir called Bevan a bully, but said he won't bully him. And of course, there's a response from uh, Bevan's folks as well. Also trending this morning, former UK Wildcat basketball star Ed Davender on life support at UK Hospital after a heart attack. Friends and former Wildcats have been holding a vigil at his bedside. Davender played from 1984 to 1988. He's ranked as Kentucky's 11th all time scorer. A feel good story from Kentucky.com as singer James Taylor was reunited this week when he was in town with his baby. Babysitter. Former Lexington Mayor Pam Miller was just 17 when she watched the Taylor kids during their summer vacations. Taylor and Miller hadn't seen each other in 42 years, so they did a lot of catching up. CBS This Morning is coming up shortly at 7 with your eye opener, and of course, we'll have local updates as well. Hey, join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter or Instagram, and for the latest anytime, WKYT.com. Still have some storms out there, anywhere from Jackson County and Rock. Castle County, make your way through uh, Beattyville. That's where we're going to be seeing some of those storms up through the Mountain Parkway, all the way to through 460 into West Liberty. So you are getting some thunderstorms outside. All that's moving eastbound. And as we go through our day, we're going to be seeing those storms, especially east of I-75 today. Uh, I believe that's when you start to see the better opportunity later on this afternoon. It's only 40 percent, so not as good of a chance as what we have seen the past couple of days. But nonetheless, still the storms out there, guys. A lot of heavy rain early this morning there in Boyle County, Marion County, those areas, even northern portions of Lincoln County. Just got a picture from Pam Wright off of Twitter. Uh, the Chaplin River there in Perryville is flooded. Now it's flooding back up onto mm -hmm. the road, so it's just going to add to that as that runoff continues. So just keep in mind, watch for these flooded roadways as you're traveling early this morning. Yeah. But we will get a break tomorrow on Big Friday. Big break tomorrow <laughs> yes. on Friday, exactly. We're going to enjoy good. that. Yes, and, we will. And, uh, and the weekend as well, even if it is <laughs> rainy, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, nobody is more up to date than you to start your day. Thank you so much for being with us on WKYT. CBS This Morning is next. Have a great day.